Hey guys, let's talk about this conversation that Putin will have with the Prime Minister um, from Israel, Netanyahu. Russian President Vladimir Putin to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu before traveling to Beijing. And it says here that we like to speak, speak during a phone call Monday evening, as senior official tells Fox News. The call will represent the first time the two leaders will speak since Hamas surprise Act 7 attacks on Israeli civilians prompt Israel to declare war against the Gaza based terror group. And Netanyahu and Putin will speak before the Russian president is expected to meet this week with Chinese leaders in Beijing on a visit that underscores China's support for Moscow during its war in Ukraine. Russia, Russia and China have for, for jet and formal alliance are forged and formal alliance against the United States and other democratic nations that is now complicated by the israel Hamas war. And China was sought uh, to balance its ties with Israel, uh, with its economy relations with Iran and Syria, which are strongly back, backed by Russia. Putin's visit is also a show of support for Chinese President Xi Jinping's signature Belt and Road Initiative to build infrastructure and spend China's overseas influence. Mm, there's some interests there. The Biden administration deployed Secretary of State Anthony Blinken to the Middle West, to the Middle East, to meet to meet with Arab leaders in hopes of de deterring a wider ranging conflict amid the war in Israel as Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah has been exchanged fire with Israelis along the country northern border with Lebanon, raising concerns of the opening of Second Front. Meanwhile, Netanyahu, whose forces have been pummeling the Gaza Strip with the with retaliatory airstrikes, is reading a planned ground operation against Hamas this week. Blinken, while traveling in the Middle, Middle East, Over the weekend, called Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Bui to ask Beijing to use whatever influence it was in the region to keep other countries and groups from entering the conflict and bro broadening it. According to the State Department, which declined to characterize Wang's response, China is known to have close trade and political ties with Iran which in turn supports Hamas and Hezbollah. During a call with an ad advisor to the, Brazilians, to the Brazilian president, Wang had come out more strongly for the Palestinians compared to his Chinese counterparts, saying that the crux of matter is that justice has not been done to the Palestinian people. This conflict once again proved in an extremely tragic uh, manner that the way to solve the Palestinian issue lies in resuming genuine peace talks as soon as possible and realizing the legitimate rights of the Palestinian nation, when said according to the Associated Press. Okay. And let's see here. China, Middle East, and Voy. Zay Jun talked to the Palestinian and Egyptian officials by phone this past week calling for an immediate ceasefire and humanitarian support for the Palestinian people. Zay also called Israeli officials to say China has not selfish interests on the Palestinian issue but has always stood on the side of peace, on the side of fairness and justice. He said that China is willing to work with the international community to promote peace and encourage talks. Encourage talks. Putin will be among the highest profile guests at a gathering marking the 10th anniversary of 
cheese announcement announcement of the BRI policy, which has Latin countries such as Zambia and Sri Lanka with heavy debt after they signed contracts with Chinese companies to build roads, airports, and other public works they could not otherwise afford. Putin's visit has not been officially confirmed, according to the AP, but Chinese officials have suggest he will arrive late Monday. Late Monday, In June, she hosted uh, the Palestinian president in Beijing and invited the Israeli prime minister for an official state visit. Netanyahu accepted and China was on track for a bigger role in the region, but Hamas attacks against Israel have made Netanyahu's plain late October trip uncertain. China's stated no neutrally on the war has upset Israel, but Beijing may gain in the long run by forging closer ties with Arab countries, expert told to AP. Netanyahu has invited President Biden to, the, to visit Israel amid the war against Hamas. Just weeks before Russia's invasion of Ukraine last February, Putin met with Xi in Beijing and the sides signed an agreement pledging a no-limits relationship. Beijing's attempt attempts to present itself as a neutral peace broker in Russia's war on Ukraine have been widely dismissed by the international community.